Hi guys, so I'm going to do another um, request by for Justin Riggs. So this is Uncle Sam. Um, this is a DC Comics character. At the time he was he was created by Quality Comics, but he's later bought by DC. Um, he was created by the same person that made the spirit, I think that's his name, and Plastic Man, Will Eisner. And he's more, he, he's not really like, he may be a patriotic superhero, but he's, he seems to be, ma I don't, I'm not too familiar with him, but he seems to be magical. And I think he's like on power, on par with power with like Superman or Captain Marvel or Shazam. So from what I understand anyway, so apparently he's a very powerful character. Um, there's a bike ad. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this bike company still exists. So Uncle Sam by Will Eisner. In 1776, as a new but tattered flag was hoisted over the three, uh, 13 free states, a new spirit was born, a spirit that grew until 48 states became united under one flag. So back when this comic was written, Alaska and Hawaii weren't U.S. states. So they became states in the late 1950s. This comic was made 1940, I think 1940 or 41. Out of the, this guidance, out of the spirit like a guiding father came Uncle Sam, as Americans finally named him to watch over the destinies of growing America. He carried the flag in the Civil War. Pleased when the North and South finally settled their differences and the states were again united. In the trenches of 1917, um, fighting to preserve the principles of democracy, and once again, 21 years after Americans had shed their blood, so that a system of government offering freedom, equality, and the pursuit of happiness may be preserved, the forces of evil, greed, intolerance, and crime threaten the very ideal of which America's greatest character was born. Now, for the first time in the history of comics, the great Uncle Sam joins the war on crime, evil, and injustice. With the dramatic terror of an approaching storm, the grim harvest of an overworked soil descends upon the farmers of the United States. Dust, dust storms announcing with implacable finality that the dry soil will no longer yield. In great rolling clouds, the parched earth shifts across the once fertile lands or valleys of the Midwest. So they're talking about the dust bowl that was in the 1930s. That was very, that was extremely bad, but farmers abandon their worthless farms, turn westward in search of jobs, any jobs, for they are hungry. Across the great plains over the Rockies, like a mighty invasion, they descend upon on the more fertile land, lands of the west. But other states have their unemployment problems too. At the gates, the migrants are forced to stop, keep out. Um, but more come, and soon a huge camp of homeless, destitute Americans gather at their borders. At a high ledge overlooking the camp, three men survey the scene. According to my information, there should be more coming in a few weeks. A smart man could use that crowd. They're bitter enough to fight for anyone. But boss, there are only a few of them. Heh. I, I could name you three dictators who started with a following smaller than that. Scar, this is a setup for us. Join the camp. You know what to do. I'll get the money. In a month, we should have a first-class fighting outfit. A march on Washington, and I, Andal Cobra, am dictator. But, boss, that means killings, murder. Listen, Snile, this isn't petty squealing. We we'll own the United States Mint. More dough than you can count. There was an attempted coup in the 1930s. It was called the Business Plot. I think in 1933, it was alleged by um, the Colonel Smedley Butler, where a bunch of business interests would have tried to overthrow President Franklin uh, Roosevelt. They would have tried to overthrow him. And had Smedley Butler as like, the director of the United States. Um... So yeah, th this isn't very far-fetched. There are also like people like Huey Long and that were, like were dictatorial figures in, in back in the 30s. It was a very tough time, but 
extremely bad time to live. But the Cobra drives off, leaving his two agents to their work. With their craft of trained rabble rousers, Scar and Snile set to work on the Okies. So the people from Oklahoma. Dictatorship must replace democracy. Freedom is a farce. Place us in power and America will rule the world. Um, yeah, so he looks like Hitler here. Soon, units of purple shirts appear led by Scar. But democracy has a defender. Ezra Smith speaks. Dictatorship will enslave you. Under democracy, you have freedom. It is Scar. The suckers are beginning to listen to that guy, Smith. Oh yeah, I'll take care of him. Buddy, my boy, it's all... It's really, really horrible. That gang like the Purple Shirts can stir up the free-thinking Americans to the point of giving up their freedom. We must stop these political gangsters. That's what you think, Grandpa. You and your democracy are through. Why, you rat. Watching from outside, Snile, scared beyond reason, fires. Smith drops a slug in his back. Good word, Snile. Come on. No use looking for that kid. We gotta scram. Uh, disconsolately, the frightened lad heads towards the desert. Unable to contain himself any longer, he bursts into tears. Suddenly, the sound of someone whistling. Yankee Doodle. Now, now, little man. You're not really crying. Men don't cry, you know. Tell your Uncle Sam about it. Whose uncle are you? Everyone's uncle. Amer every American boy is my nephew. You see, I've been around this country a long time, and I reckon the principles our forefathers died for are worth preserving and fighting for. Of course, some folks will say I'm a busybody, but when a little feller needs help, I reckon even a busybody's aid is mighty welcome. Gosh, Uncle Sam, you're a real smart guy. As he passed from, uh, passed smile, a smile emerges from the shadows. You know, laddie, I could use a right smart assistant like you. What's your name? Buddy, sir. He pushes the huge boulder directly onto Uncle Sam. Who did that? Grr, by the stars and stripes, I'll wring his neck. So like I said, uh, Uncle Sam is like super strength and he's magical. So I, th I think he like, his power, he like emits his power from like the patriotism of America. It's kind of weird, it's very weird, but gosh, that rock must have weighed a ton. It bounced off him like a pebble. Frightened at Uncle Sam's wrath, Snile flees in terror, but Buddy is too quick. So it was you. Who are you, and why did you do that? I... Well, don't hit me. I didn't mean to. All right, stop whimpering. Here's your head, and don't go around dropping boulders on people. What a wretch. I think he did that on purpose. Bet that the camp of the migrants, Scar begins new plan... Or makes new plans. Hello, Cobra. The shirts are organized. Good. You're the, the fortress is ready, too. Get your men here at once. We begin action tomorrow. Okay, boss. I'll have all the suckers up by tomorrow. And all of them will be ready to die for us. Scar, help! Scar, I just saw a miracle. I dropped a giant rock on Uncle Sam's head. Enough to crush an ordinary man. But he flicked it off like it was some... Like it was a snowflake. I thought that word just said... <laughs> the. I thought that word, um... It looks like the L and the I... Like I thought, I thought it was um, combined. Yeah, and F U C K. I thought this was it. I don't know what you're yelping about, but I got a good cure for you. No, please, no. We don't want a weakling in the purple shirts. Bang, bang. Next day at the hidden fortress of the purple shorts or shirts. It looks like um. Uh, the Flintstones. That looks like the Flintstones or something. Like the background. Uh, anyway. Feel with stormtroopers um, speed into the secret entrance. They march into a well-equipped control room. I want to see Andal Cobra. Yes, Scar. You see, Scar, we've got the most modern equipment. We could hold out for months against the entire U.S. Army if they discovered us here. 
But Cobra, this looks like foreign-made equipment, and those troopers, they're foreigners too. Right, Scar. Gatch Gozan here is an agent for a well-known foreign power. His government will send a couple of pocket battleships over as soon as we stir up trouble. They'll aid us with troops and money. Meanwhile, if what you tell me is true, that camp link's looking into. Gosh, Uncle Sam, you can sure run fast. Uniform, say, young man. Don't you know it's against the law to wear a military uniform? Yeah, well, that's one of the laws that's going to be changed now. Git. Run him down. We don't tolerate metal in old... Hey, what the? Where's my hat? Here it is, Uncle. Suddenly, out of a tent, the wretched figure of Snile staggers towards them. Hey, Uncle Sam, there's that man again. Looks like he ran into a peck of trouble. Gulp, thanks. Gulp, Scar, and Cobra, the chief. They're at a box valley, big fort. Meanwhile, two foreign yacht planes approach the presidential yacht. But it's impossible. You can't kidnap the president. It's being done right now. Get going, Mr. President. Don't radio for help. The men in that autogyro will bomb the ship if any message goes out. President kidnapped. Uh, headlines scream in the news. Back to the secret fort, wings cease kidnap plane. And to an underground hangar, the, graf the craft is lowered. I'll keep him covered lower away. Welcome, Mr. President. Perhaps you'll wonder why you, we brought you here. Um, we merely wish to show you the beginning, beginning of a new military power. Your democracy, Mr. President, is doomed. Those men are trained troopers. Outraged by the crime, the entire nation joins the frantic search for the chief executive. Meanwhile, Uncle Sam and Buddy skim across the Rockies to Box Valley. At last, they discover the fort. Someone's preparing for plenty of trouble. Sure, don't look now, buddy. But there's a fellow creeping up behind us. You make a dash for it while I keep him busy. Be much healthier for you to be waving our flag instead of wielding a gun, my lad. And it would be a lot healthier to mind your own business. Well, I've taken care of myself a good long time now. It's young fellows like you need advice on health ideals and such matters. In that case, I'll let you give advice to a firing squad. Buddy arrives at army headquarters. Uncle Sam is in trouble at a secret fort. Order Company K out at once. Well, apparently he's not bulletproof. So this is a high out of the purple shorts? Yes, and in 24 hours we'll be in Washington, the government in my hands. Can't you Americans see that if you put your liberty, your government, in the hands of men like these, you'll be betrayed? Don't listen to that rah-rah stuff. When I'm dictator, I'll shoot all these free thinkers like him. I'm with Uncle Sam. The fate of freedom depends on you. Quick, get your men guns and kill the swine. Staunchly, the Americans staunch... Stand off the attack wall. Uncle Sam runs to rescue the president. You can't open this door barehanded. The lock is welded steel, open only by electricity. Well, I'll be. If I didn't pull the whole thing out, concrete and all. Meanwhile, the army unit has arrived and opens fire. Boom. We're halted. Those walls are ten feet thick. Hold, here, hold on to my coattails. This is a bit undignified, Mr. President, but no one's looking. Uh, this is supposed to be FDR. Yeah, back in the day, people didn't... Well, people... I think people knew he was crippled, but they weren't allowed to take pictures of him when he was crippled because it made him look... Like, made the presidency look weak. Like, people wouldn't allow... Like, because FDR was in a wheelchair... And he was all, he also had a cane as well, but he, people weren't allowed to take pictures of it. Keep your head low, they're firing fast. I'm going to stop this little war now. Look. Just one moment, gentlemen. The government wants a word with you. Mercy, give me a break. You'll get a break, a fair trial, which is more than your kind of government would give a traitor. 
You can stop firing now. The purple short revolt is over. The firing ceases. The Americans haul down the dictator flag, and as old glory is run up, the strains of the Star Spangled Banner floats from the fort. Here's your hat, Uncle Sam. Thanks, buddy. I reckon you boys can take care of yourselves. Look at him run off before I can get a picture. Probably a publicity stunt. I wonder, hmm. I have a feeling he's real. As real as you and I. Well, readers, it appears I have an assistant who will share my adventures. And I'll bet right now there will be mighty exciting ones. Follow the adventures of America's greatest comic hero, Uncle Sam. So yeah, that's the end of that um issue. Um, if you guys would like, comment, or subscribe. That'd be appreciated. Um, and I'll uh, see you guys later.